think Hurry, Mr. Bergeron's on Don't forget the popcorn, Frank Coming, dear Hi, and uh, welcome to this installment of Bergeron Briefs. Uh, my name is Art Bergeron. Uh, I am an attorney at Myrick O'Connell. Um, and as you folks know, if you've been here before, uh, I'm the elder law attorney. There are 57 of us. We do all kinds of different things. This show is focused on issues that you <coughs> as a senior uh, may be interested in. I try to use these um, presentations to supplement the presentations that I do at the Council on Aging, the seminars on broad topics, so that you can kind of know people, individuals close up, who you may need to know uh, depending on what the issues are. And today, I have with me one of uh, the partners at Myrick O'Connell, uh, Ted Bassett, who has been at Myrick O'Connell now for a while. Uh, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit. And his focus throughout his life has been on personal injury law. And that's what he does at Myrick O'Connell. He handles all those kinds of cases. I thought it would be great to have him come on right now since it is December and it is winter months. And I thought maybe we could talk a little bit about car accidents. But first, Ted, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. And, it, and can you just kind of start off by telling us, so you've been at Myrick you got you were there when I was there and when I got there, and I think you've been there for quite a while before that, right? Yes. How, how long have you been at Myrick? This is my 37th year at Myrick O'Connell. So you started when you were about 10? Yes. That's started, no, I was actually 16. Six, that's, Doogie that's, Howser and I started our professions at the same time. But, that, uh, <laughs> that's terrible. When I started at Myrick O'Connell in the fall of 1977, yeah. there were eight attorneys. Yeah. And the name of the firm was Myrick O'Connell, DeMalley, and Luigi. So there's four of them and their sons, Myrick O'Connell, Tamale, and Lucha. Oh, that's great. And then there were three associates, Bob yeah. Martin, yeah. Mike Michaels, and myself. So when I started off then in 1977, we had a total of 11 attorneys, and we're now we've been up around, as you mentioned, 55, 60 attorneys at various times, with three locations, uh, the Worcester being our main office, as you know. Yeah. Westboro, where I've been for the past seven or eight years, which we've got now about 20 attorneys, and then we have our Boston office where we service our clients in the um, uh, eastern section of the state. I know that when I, spoke, when I speak to folks around here, they're always amazed at the fact that there actually is a big Myrick O'Connell presence that's here because we're right in Westboro. Right. And, and that, now, have you focused on personal injury work throughout your career? How did that, or did, how did that happen? How did, how did it, doing it, the, the way it happened was um, our office has always done medical malpractice defense work. We defend a lot of the hospitals and doctors yeah. in the Worcester area um, and in the Boston area. So I started my career doing medical malpractice defense. Mm -hmm. And then at the time there was a, um, a young woman who was the daughter of one of our clients who was killed in a horrible accident involving a snowplow. And uh, someone in the office asked me if I would handle it, so I handled it for the family, and that was the first time I was representing a plaintiff. A plaintiff being, as you know, Arthur, someone who was bringing the lawsuit rather than defending the lawsuit. So I handled that case, and um, it was an extremely, extremely satisfying experience having the opportunity to represent a family, getting yep. to know the family, um, work with negotiating a settlement for the family. And at that point, I realized that um, I might enjoy being on the plaintiff's side, representing those people that have been injured and who need some help in their representation, as opposed to being on the defense. Yep. And, and representing individuals, as opposed to so often on the defense, representing businesses or representing kind of large institutions. And right. So. It's right. a very different experience. Must very, be a very different. Very different. Experience. And also, I realized that um, when you're defending a case, um, you can really only hope not to lose. Uh, but when you're representing a plaintiff, you have the excitement 
uh, of you can win the case. That's a very interesting way of thinking. Yeah, yeah. so. Uh, it's a very different dynamic. A d very different dynamic. And the other thing that I enjoy about personal injury work is mm -hmm. um, personal injury work is done on a contingent fee basis, which means yes. that the client and I agree up front on a percentage based on what I'm going to recover. If I'm unsuccessful, then I get paid zero. Yeah. If I am successful, it's generally a third. Whereas doing the do you, defense, do you, can you sleep at night? I, I would be so scared if I if that were the way that I were doing things. That would be, it must be very that's stressful. Well, I, I, yes, it it is stressful, but probably no more stressful than what what you do on an yeah. hourly basis. Um, what makes it less stressful is lawyers, plaintiffs' lawyers, yeah. um, despite sort of the public perception of sue anybody and and you know don't care about who you're suing. That's just not the case. Yeah. I have to be very careful about the cases that I select because one third of zero has always been zero still and zero. still will be. Right. So right. I can't afford to take on a case that I don't think is a good case. So every case that I take, I meet with the clients, we talk about it, I review their records, we screen the case to make sure that I feel as if we have a good faith basis for going forward with the case. And then the other thing to keep in mind is we usually will only proceed when there is insurance available because there have been some cases in my career where may have recovered multi-million dollar uh, judgment, but if there's only $20,000 of insurance, the client doesn't quite understand that's all that can be collected. That's all there is, right. So, to, right. so part of the job of a plaintiff's attorney is to screen out cases mm -hmm. and to let the client know that uh, this case may not be worth their time and effort or my time. It's like getting married is what I say to the clients. We yeah. get into, we join a partnership on these cases and I have to be willing to devote all my time and resources and the firm's time and resources towards pursuing a case right. um, with a, a, a zealous approach. So there has to be a real mutual trust. I mean the client has to trust you right, that you're really going to be out there, you know, really, really looking for their interest, but you've got to trust the client too, because, because your, your possibility of success is all based on kind of the credibility of the client and, the, and, and kind of what their situation is. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So I had asked you to come on today, because <coughs> I know, well, as you, as you know, uh, th this is, I try to focus all of my time and my practice on folks who are old like me, or, um, you know, old like you. Right? Thank you, Arthur. I, I'm just so excited to know that next <laughs> month I have to try to figure out the Medicare system. I'm just you know, I'm so intimidated by this. So I know one of the things that I mentioned is while it's winter time, right? While this show may get repeated sometime in the summer, right now it's December, so we're heading into car crash season. So I thought maybe we could just kind of talk about accidents involving cars or involving cars and pedestrians, you know, looking at it from an elder's perspective, right? I kind of, kind of as, a, as a defendant and, and also definitely as a plaintiff, and just, if you, could, if you could just talk about car accidents in general and how those work. I know for, as, as a, I mean, I'm a lawyer, but I'm an educated layman as far as personal injury is concerned. That's true of most lawyers, right? Right. Um, so, so I, I, but I do know that there are some things that are different about the car accident kind of system versus other, asps, other kinds of personal injuries. So if you could just kind of talk about that a little bit. Sure. And then perhaps talk about, to the extent that, that you could, issues that may, I don't want to say are unique to elders, but tend to get exper experienced more by people who are older, right, in these kinds of situations. Right, right. How's that? Good. 